Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video in the full intuitive OLL series. And what this video will cover is all of the cases where all four edges are already oriented. So there's seven of these. And it's ones where all four edges are oriented and then some or none of the corners are oriented. So here's three different examples of that, but you can see all the edges are oriented. And this is actually the second step in two look OLL. The first step is you get the four edges oriented, and then the second step is you solve one of the seven cases. So what this video will go over is all of the seven cases that already have all of the edges oriented correctly. Now the first part of two look OLL is getting that, so I will very briefly go over that as well. This will not be a full two look OLL tutorial. I'm just going to very briefly teach you how to get to the edge cases. There's other videos online that will go more in depth on, on how to do that. So let's get started. So after you solve your last F2L pair, you can either have all four edges oriented correctly, or they can be in one of these three orientations. So you can have a line, you can have a dot where none of the other edges are oriented, or you can have this L or 7 or J case. And you'll hear it called a couple different things. And you only need to learn one algorithm or one thing to get from these cases to all four corners oriented. So if you have a dot or a line, what you're going to do is you're going to do an F move. And basically what we're doing is we're just taking some jump from the top and putting it so we can mess with this corner here. And then we're going to do a sexy move. And then we're going to undo our F move. And what that does is that gives us a J case. So if you do that on a dot, you go from a dot to a J case. And now we're down to these just these two. So if you do that same thing on a line, it will actually orient all four edges for you. So F, sexy move, F prime, will orient all four edges. And if you have the J case, you just do the fat F. So you do both of these at once, and then you do your sexy move on this edge, and then undo your fat move, and that will orient all four corners for you, or all four edges for you. So after you've got all four edges oriented, you can have one of seven cases, and we'll briefly go over all seven of those cases. The first one I'll go over is soon, and soon is recognized and it looks like the fish shape. And by now we should all probably know how to solve soon, and I will actually, the next video that I'm going to come out with will be a video entirely on soon, all of its derivatives, how to do it from the front, the back, the left, the right, because you should never have to perform any AUF moves or adjustment of the upper face moves when solving a soon case. But the quick version of a soon, and you can look at my other video for a, a more in-depth version of soon. But the standard soon is basically what we're doing is we're going to take a pair out, we're going to move the pair in the back left corner, and then we're going to insert it with a U2. And that's all a soon is doing. So you can also do this with the back. So take a pair out, move it, and then insert it with a U2. And you can remember that by you have to you have to put it in a certain position to insert it with a U2. So you take a pair out, and then the next step is insert it with U2, but in, in order to do that, it has to be sitting back here. So that's your basic soon, and how you orient the, the case is you point the fish towards you, and you will either have the same yellow piece here or here, and you want this yellow piece facing you. So there's a left-hand version of this where the yellow would be here, but in this case the yellow is here, and the pair that you're going to lift up to move out of the way is going to be the pair underneath your yellow piece. So move it and then you to it back in. And that will orient your edges. Now you can also do it from the back. So here's the left hand version. So here's the fish and then here's the case. So we would lift this one up. But you can also do it from the back. And it's the same concept. We're taking this pair out, moving it over, and then inserting it with U2. And I will go over all the finger tricks in the soon video. So watch that one if you want to learn more about the soon case. The next one we're going to learn about is case number 21 from the speed solving wiki. And this one's easy to recognize because none of your corners are oriented and you have two sets of headlights. So you have two here and then two on the back. So two in the back and then two in the front. Two in the back or two in the back and two in the front. And basically what we're going to do for this is we're going to do two soons. And if you perform two soons when it's oriented like this, it will solve your case. So we'll do one soon, 
and then you can tell it just gave us a soon, so we're going to do another soon. Now, the way I normally solve this one is I do two anti soons, and an anti soon is just when you take it out with the U2, move it over, and insert it with a single move. That's an anti soon, and I'll go over that in my soon video. But if you do two anti soons, that will solve your, your case, but you have to organize them, or you have to orient it like this so the, the things are pointing in front of you. And the reason I do that is it allows you to cancel a couple moves out. So we're going to do two anti soons There's one. And then you can tell this is a, it's an anti soon if it faces left or right, and I'll go over that in the soon video. But another anti soon and that solves your, your case. So in order to cancel a few moves out, when you do your first anti soon well, all you're doing is you're putting this one in and then bringing it right back out. So you don't have to do that. You can completely skip those moves. So instead of doing two full soons, you can cancel a couple of those moves in the middle. And this is what it winds up looking like. And this requires a regrip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to regrip. We're going to kick this out with the U2. And then move it over one. And then we're just going to move it over one more time. And then insert it with a normal. And all that's doing is two soons and we're just canceling out. So here's one anti-soon and here's two anti-soons. So we're just canceling out the this part and this part. So this part of the last of the first one and then this part of the second soon. So again we will point the faces towards you and away from you and we'll regrip like this. We'll do a two. Just like that. So it's just two soons. And if you do this three times, it'll cycle itself. So if you do it once, you can see the edges are on the side. If you do it, do it again, the edges are facing you. And if you do it again, one more time, it'll solve the case for you. So all that is is two soons, but we're just canceling out a few moves. So one last time. And then at speed. So the other way to solve this case is if you perform an F move and then a triple sexy. So there's one, two, three, and then undo your F move. Then that will also solve your case. And you would want to do that if you can recognize when you're going to get a PLL skip. So you'll get a skip in this case if you have these two are the same color and these two are the same color. And then you'll notice a uh, rotating pattern. So the opposite colors are here and the opposite colors are here. So they're, you know, orange is opposite red. So you'll have this pattern. So if you if you can recognize that, then do the triple sexy version of it. And then that will solve your case. The um, the other one that will give you a skip case is you still have the opposite colors on top, but you'll notice a bar on the side. So if you have a bar on the side, now this isn't I don't necessarily think it's guaranteed to provide a skip case, but if you put the bar on the right hand side and then you do your double sexy, that will also skip PLL for you. This is case number 22 from the uh, speed solving wiki and you have the headlights in the front and then you have some blinkers on the sides. So none of your corners will be oriented correctly and you'll have a pair of headlights and a pair of blinkers. And the way you solve this is what we're going to do is we're going to, first we're going to organize it so you have a headlights facing on the side and then one of your blinkers is facing you. And if it's over the pair that we're going to take this pair out so it's over whatever pair the blinker is facing you. So if it's this way, then we'll start with this pair. So let's assume that it's in this orientation. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pair out with a U2, and then we're going to take this back pair out and not break up your, your top layer. So now we have two pairs sitting in the top layer. And then all we're going to do is reinsert this one, and then we're going to reinsert this one with the U2, like that. So again, we're going to take it out with the U2. We're going to take this one out. We're going to reinsert this one, and then we're going to reinsert that one. What that looks like is if the pair is on this side, we'll take this pair out first, and then we're going to remove this pair down here, and then we're going to reinsert this pair, and then we're going to reinsert this pair. Here's our headlights, here's our blinkers. So the blinkers, this one's underneath the blinkers. We'll start with this one. And 
And finally, I like doing it in my left because I'm a little a little better at the the U2s and the R, or the L2s on my left, but you can do it. I did it for my right for a long time. And really what we're going to do is we're going to, and this is a re-rear plus alg, so we'll take it out, take this one out, reinsert, reinsert. So all we're doing is a lot of this with this hand. So we'll take it out, take it out, insert, insert. And it's a pretty pretty quick alg. I don't know a better way to do it. And the only way I can tell you that uh, it will do a PLL skip is if you notice that you have a bar on your side, you're not going to get a skip. If you don't have a bar, there's a chance that you will get a skip. It's not guaranteed. But if you notice that two colors are right next to each other, so let's say this piece was blue as well, then you won't get a skip. You will, you only possibly get a skip if, if none of these are the same color. But other than that, I, I'm not really sure how to how to detect a PLL skip in this one uh, because a lot of times you'll you'll wind up with uh, an A perm as well. So or a U perm rather. Sorry. So anyways, we'll once again. Here's your headlights and your blinkers. So you just point a blinker towards you. Take this pair with the U2. Take this one out. Put this one in. Put this one in. And at speed. This is OLL case number 23. And this is easy to recognize because you have all four edges oriented and then two of the other ones. So you'll have two that's not and they'll be facing you. So you can either have two that's not and facing you or sitting on the sides and this one is facing you. And really there's only one good way to do this alg and a lot of people uh, don't like it and they're not very comfortable with it. And the, the goal is to kind of show you how to be comfortable with it. So what we're going to do is and this one is the first one where we have to do a setup move before we take a pair out. And the setup move in this case is going to be facing towards you. But the setup move is going to be an R2 and a D. And what that's doing is that's going to allow us to, you can tell we put some junk back here, and that's going to, we're going to remove this pair with the U2. So we'll remove it with the U2, and then undo our D move, and then we're going to reinsert this with the U2. So in order to reinsert it, we have to move this down, U2, and then solve. And that will orient your, your blast layer. So again, we're going to do R2, D, Take it out with the U2, undo your D, and we're pushing here, so our undo our D is just a push, and then insert with the U2, and then back down. So again, we'll, and this one we rig up, so we rig up here, R2D, flip it over, D, flip it back, oriented, and one last time, R2D, flip it over, undo your D, and then flip it it back in. So it's a pretty quick alg and you can recognize if you're going to get the PLL skip there's not really much you can do unless you want to learn a different alg for this but you'll know you get a PLL skip is if this block is a, a solid block so if you notice that these these two are together then when you do this alg you'll, you'll probably get a PLL skip it's not guaranteed because these can be the same color uh, or these can be opposite colors other but if you have a block you have a chance at a PLL skip so when you do the alg it might skip your PLL step. This is case number 24, and you'll notice that all of your pieces are oriented except for two, and instead of having headlights, you have blinkers. So you have one that's here and one that's here. And basically what we're going to do for this case is we're going to perform a fat version of you take a pair out and you sledgehammer it in. All we're doing is we're doing the fat version of that. So we're going to take a pair out like that and then sledgehammer it like that. So again, we'll do a fat, sexy move, and then a fat sledgehammer. And that will solve this case. Fat, sexy move, and then a fat sledgehammer. Solves that case. And you'll notice that you're, you're doing an F move at the very end, and the next case we get into, we'll have a, uh, the F move at the very beginning. So we're doing a fat, sexy move, and then a fat sledgehammer, so this last F here. For the next case, we'll just put that F in the very beginning and that will solve that case. So, as far as this one's concerned, here's your blinker facing towards you. We'll do a fat sexy move and a fat sledgehammer. And then for finger tricks on this, you kinda wanna regrip here and then push up with the thumb, or you can pull down. Some people are comfortable with the pull down. And at speed,
this case 25 on the speed solving wiki and this one's easy to recognize because it's the only one with two corners not oriented so you will only ever have this one case if you notice that all the others are oriented and these two are not and I think it's called the bow tie or something and how we're going to solve this one is basically we're going to do the exact same thing that we did last time but we're going to put an F move in the front so last time we did a fat sexy and then a fat sledge and this time all we're going to do is we're going to put an F move and then same movements, fat sexy, fat sledge, but we don't have to do that last click at the top. So we're going to orient it like this, we're going to do our F move here, and then fat sexy, and then we're fat sledge. We just don't need to do that last F move because we did it in the beginning of the algorithm. So again, F, fat sexy, fat most of the sledge. F, fat sexy. So again, that's when your uh, one of your things is facing to the left or the right, and this one's facing towards you. And I always organize it like this. You can do it from the left-hand version if you, if you so desire, but if you point the yellow piece towards you, and then we're going to lift up on the slot underneath it, then that sexy, that sledge without the last F move will solve that case. Then at speed. The other way you can solve this case is instead of putting your um, top piece facing on this side, you face it on this side, and we're going to convert the alg a little bit, and this one's a little more regripless friendly, so I've been trying to use this one a little more in my solves, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull down like a sexy move, so if we have our regular cube, you know, pull down like a sexy move, but we're just going to do a, a fat, that's called a hedge slammer when you do that. So we're just going to do a fat hedge slammer that will pull this whole block up. So we'll fat hedge slammer, and then you can see if here's our slot. If we just sexy move and then undo, that's going to solve it. And it's a little more re gripless friendly because when you're here, you pull down, push up through the finger, and then in this back, I'm just holding it with my finger here to let that middle part slide, and then. So again, the next cases we'll be covering are all of the soon cases and its derivatives. So you have the basic soon case where you have the fish, a lot of people call it, and there's a there's a left and a right hand version of that, and there's also the reverse versions of those, and there's also the fat version, the inverse of the fat version so there's a uh, three or four different direct cases that you can solve and there's a couple combinations of soons that you can also solve various cases similar to case 21 where we went in this video where it's just two soons but you're canceling out a few moves so there are other cases that you can solve just with soon and you can also solve your entire last layer just with the soon algorithm so you can make it a one algorithm last layer if you want so I'll teach you how to do that as well if you had any questions or comments on the edge-oriented cases, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And until then, happy cubing!